Now that I've set the highlight and shadow point from the previous lesson, we can move on to the next step, adjusting contrast and brightness. For this, select a gradation icon. The gradation window allows you to control the brightness, contrast, and color of your image. At the top, we have two sliders for changing overall contrast and brightness. For more precise tonal adjustments, I recommend the use of the curves. The gamma slider lets you alter the midtone without affecting the extreme highlight or shadow points. This tool is useful for correcting overexposed or underexposed images. The gamma setting applies a predefined gradation curve. However, unlike standard gradation curves, the gamma setting is strictly controlled. This enables you to create a custom input profile that is calibrated to the scanner at a given gamma setting. Selecting the triangle at the bottom left of the window opens up the curve window. Curves give you a tremendous amount of control over the contrast, brightness, and color of your image. The bottom left point of the curve represents the starting point of your shadow information. The upper right point is the starting point of your highlight information. The grid intersects the curve at three points, the quarter tone, mid tone, and the three quarter tone. We are working on a scale from 0 to 255. So for example, your mid-tone information is going to have a numerical value around 128. Here are some examples of how curves can be used to enhance the tone of your image. To increase the overall brightness, place a point at the mid-tone and pull the point towards the upper left corner of the window. Release the point to update the preview. Pulling the control point in the opposite direction decreases brightness. To increase overall contrast without blowing out your delicate highlights or plugging up the shadows, I first place a control point at the quarter tone and the three quarter tone. I then pull the control point up at the quarter tone and down at the three quarter tone. Steepening the curve increases contrast between the two points. You increase contrast in those areas of your image that fall between the two control points. To remove the control points, select a point, then select the delete or backspace key. The eyedropper allows you to select a point in your preview and that exact point is placed on the curve. This allows you to pinpoint specific ranges within your image you wish to enhance. For example, select an image and that exact point is placed on the curve. Place points above and below the first point. Then remove the first point. Pull the points up and down. This will increase the contrast to the pixels that fall between the two points. Here are some tips for controlling your curve points. To move a curve point in a vertical axis, hold down the shift key while moving the point. To make very small curve movements, you can use the arrows on the keyboard. To move in larger increments, hold down the control key while using the arrow keys. To move between different points, toggle the control tab keys. In addition to controlling the red, green, and blue channels together, we also have access to the individual color channels. The ability to adjust all six color channels gives you an enormous amount of control. I recommend investing some time becoming comfortable making adjustments with curves. They give you a tremendous amount of control over the tonality of your image.